A life-changing nonprofit organization is uniting with American companies and local communities to honor the life of an American hero with a big heart. And a family in mourning is striving to pick up the pieces and find a way to live life forward. Everybody, I'm Beth Troutman. On this episode of Live Life Forward, I will meet with the family of a gold star U.S. veteran. His name is Mark D. Allen Carr, who was killed during a counter ISIS mission in Afghanistan on April 8, 2017. During my visit with his family and closest friends, we will uncover Mark's journey and the legacy that he leaves as a true American hero. We will also meet the force behind nonprofit organization Building Homes for Heroes, carrying out a powerful quest of supporting U.S. veterans that have been injured and killed in combat. This organization, along with its supportive partners, Advance Auto Parts, Truck Hero, and York Heating and Air Conditioning, have been working together to build the perfect home for the Dallin Carr family, aspiring to help them plant new roots and make memories while manifesting the dreams of their fallen angel. A home built for a hero. In 2001, the United States began its global war on terrorism in Afghanistan in response to the terror attacks on the World Trade Center and the Pentagon on September 11th. Since then, thousands of men and women have been severely injured or killed in this war while defending and protecting our country. What some people may never understand is the strength that it takes for the families of these heroes to cope with the loss of their loved one and find a way to push forward through the indescribable pain and heartache. We're on our way to meet Mark's wife, Natasha, and their five children, because we wanted to learn more about Mark's life through the people who loved him most. And I, I think it's gonna be a pretty emotional day. <laughs> Natasha? Yes. I'm Beth. Beth. Hey. So nice to meet you. Oh, it's so wonderful to meet you. Come on in. All right. I'll let you lead the way. Okay, you should do our children. Hi. <laughs> That's Tatiana, Octavia, Deshaun, Marcos, and Rodrigo. Hi, it's so nice to meet you all. Thank you so much for letting us come here. First of all, tell me about Mark. What kind of man was he? Mark was the type of man that would put his needs, his wants, he would put those aside for the people that he cares so much about. He never wanted to have any type of um, recognition for all of the awesome things that he did on the battlefield and at home. So when people ask me to describe him, all I can say is a very selfless, a very humble, kind-hearted, loving person. Here you are, you've met this man, this <laughs> humble, selfless, quiet man, yes. and then you fall in love. Yes. After high school, we kind of drifted apart. Upon us reuniting again, we had to be like 20, 21. Mm -hmm. He had already had a son and already had two kids. It was like no time was lost. We just caught up, started talking about the old times and just decided to make a date. There was never a day after that in 15 years that we were apart until of course the choice came um, for him to take his next journey going into the army. And how did that choice come about? His father served for 25 years. When I spoke with his mom and his dad, they were letting me know that since the age of three, it was something that he always wanted to do. So tell me about that moment when you found out that your life had changed forever, that you had lost him. <laughs> that moment I play every day like Groundhog. We hadn't even been here long. We were very new to Florida, and it was gonna be the shortest deployment. He was gonna come home soon. He was, he was coming right back. Uh, it was a Saturday. We had went and got takeout food, and we was coming home. We was just getting relaxed, just selling in. Five minutes into the home, and my daughter, Tatiana, was like, Mom, the guys that, are, you know, you see in the movies when they deliver bad news are at the door. I heard her, and I heard my other daughter who came up behind her, and I heard them calling me. I did. I couldn't move. I can't forget the, the gloves. The gloves stand out a lot. They were super clean. I looked at him and I gave him the, you know, to go ahead and say what he had to say. And they took the paper out and they, that's when they told us. And that was a bad day, the worst day. He had only been a Green Beret for a few short months. He got in in September. He deployed in February 
and he was gone in April. But slowly, as days go by, I find myself laughing again. I find myself kidding again. I find myself trying to live again. It's hard, though, when you don't have your best friend with you. It's truly hard. I think most people would agree that he was an American hero. I hope so. I hope that after people watch this piece, that they walk away getting to know a little bit more about who my husband was on the battlefield and at home. And he's an American hero either way. And we miss him truly every single day. Were you expecting somebody? My mom and my sister, today is beach day. Uh, do you do beaches? I love the beach. Would you like to join us? I would love that. Are you Fabulous. kidding? Fabulous. Oh. We would love to have you. I can't wait to meet them. Yes. Next on Live Life Forward, Natasha takes the family to one of Mark's favorite places. Then we head over to take a sneak peek at the D. Allen Carr family's future dream home and meet the companies that are changing lives one home at a time. I had a son-in-law who lived for the water. Every opportunity that he had when he wasn't training, he had them at the beach. What do you think it was? What was it about the beach that he loved so much? What Did it calm him? What was it? I think the beach was his his serenity, his peace. That's his getaway. So if he could be in anywhere, he will probably be on the beach majority of the time. And then, of course, with his family. He fit in as if he was one of my children. He nice. was brothers to my sons. He was uncles to my daughter's children. He was my best friend. We haven't stepped foot like this by the water since the death of my husband. Our youngest daughter, after he died, refused to go to the beach, refused to touch the sand, and looking at her and her sister and the little one, it does my heart so good. She's accepting that it's okay to move on. Smile again. It's that okay feels... to come back to the, to, to the last memory she had with her dad. That makes all this, for me today, worthwhile. After a beautiful day with the D. Allen Carr family, I'm on my way to go see the home that is going to be gifted to them in just one more day. Building Homes for Heroes has put together a volunteer day with its partners to add those final details onto the home with 24 hours left. It's time to get to work. Jim, I am blown away by this. Like my heart is so full watching all of these people work right now. Talk to me about the partners, the people who help make this happen. Being with Building Homes for Heroes is just an amazing thing for us. All these folks devoting their own time, you know, whether it be Truck Hero, Advanced Auto Parts, and York Air Conditioning and Heating. Well, those are huge sponsors uh, doing some great things for those that have given so much. I can't wait to see what you've done on the inside of this home. Everything out here looks spectacular, and they're not even done. So you don't head inside and look at some yeah, of these sounds upgrades? Great. JP Morgan Chase made a commitment to provide 1,000 mortgage-free homes to deserving veterans. And Building Homes for Heroes is their organization of choice for those most severely injured. We kind of come in with uh, other corporate donors and put this special sauce into the house, and uh, it's unbelievable. Show me some of the special sauce. So, uh, you know, you can see the countertops here, granite countertops throughout, brand Looks new oven, awesome. refrigerator, dishwasher, brand new tile on the floor. The backsplash is all brand new. Paint throughout the house is all brand new. Every home that we provide gets a brand new York system. And you work with the family with paint colors and all we that? We do. Unique to Natasha's interests, we've painted not only this room here, but each one of the bedrooms in the colors that they chose. I can't wait till they see it. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm already emotional about this. I love all the touches, the towels and the shower curtain. So fun. A lot of the folks that work for Building Homes for Heroes put their heart and soul into uh, trying to make it, you know, that initial feel of home for the, for the folks when they come here, so. That's why we're supposed to be here, right? That's right. That's to exactly help other right. people. Hey, Marcus, how you doing? Hey, Jim, doing well. I thought I'd introduce you to Beth. Uh, Hi, Beth. So nice to meet you, Marcus. Good to meet you. Thank you so much, Jim, and it's so exciting to meet you. As we were walking through the house, we were talking about some of the, the work that you guys have done. How did yes. you get involved with Building Homes for Heroes? Yes, yeah, so the partnership between York and Building Homes for Heroes began actually back in 2014. So this is the fifth consecutive year, and uh, by the end of the, actually by the end of 2018, we'll have donated York equipment to over 100 military families. So we're just really thrilled and honored to, to be a part of this partnership. I'm a veteran myself, so this was near and dear to my heart, and uh, our organization 
is just thrilled to have the opportunity to give back to our military families for all that they do for our country and to be able to support them is just fantastic. And what about this system that you all graciously donated and put into this home? Sure, so yeah, this is our top of the line system. It's our Affinity Series variable capacity heat pump system, extremely energy efficient, so it cuts down on those utility bills for the homeowners. It actually has the Energy Star most efficient designation in the HVAC category for 2018. So it's just, uh, it's a fantastic system and, and we couldn't be more thrilled to be able to, to partner with Building Homes for Heroes to provide these to these homes. You guys are amazing. Truck Hero is another one of the organization's loyal donors with a unique contribution in full support of bettering the lives of injured veterans. Truck Hero is very passionate about supporting our active and veteran military service members. Um, we felt this was a, a good way to have a positive, tangible impact on their lives. We've been volunteering and working Building Homes for Heroes for several years. We have contributed time and money to help support the families that they are supporting. Look at this, what we're standing in front of. What are some of the services you provide, some of the things that you actually do? So Truck Hero is a manufacturer of aftermarket truck accessories. Our brand of families manufacture everything from truck bed covers to steps. With some of the things that you've done for other people. How do you think it's changed their lives? Well, I hope it's enhanced their vehicles and made their vehicles more uh, aesthetically pleasing and uh, more functional. Our teams here that we have that have volunteered today is mostly veterans, and uh, we like participating and volunteering and helping out getting homes ready for the recipients. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. Up next on Live Life Forward, Advance Auto Parts explains why giving back to our veterans is so important. Then, the moment we've all been waiting for and a day the Day Allen Carr family will never forget. Andy, it is such an honor to be here with you in front of this home. Your story is quite remarkable. Talk to me about how building homes for heroes came to be. I was in the search and rescue of 9-11. I sat in the rubble one night, and took my helmet off, and my glasses and my mask, and uh, I looked around and I watched how courageous all the firefighters, and police officers were. They were my heroes. I knew right there and then that I wanted to serve my country. So I started an organization. Our goal was to do the most difficult task possible. And when the veterans started coming home severely injured, I said, let's build a home. We're now gifting five homes in June, 33 to 35 homes in 2018, and hopefully 500 homes by 2025. So making each and every home built and created and designed towards their needs. You know, this home, this family, look what's inspired. You see advanced auto parts and truck hero and York air conditioning systems and builders and volunteers. and. I could never imagine from sitting in the rubble that evening to this moment in time, but this is the pinnacle. This is the highlight of love. Right now, we're headed to Advanced Auto Parts to join a procession with the D. Allen Carr family. We're all gonna head over for the ceremony so that they can finally see this remarkable home, this brand new home that they are now going to call their own. Words cannot express how remarkable this experience has been so far. Right now, I'm in front of Advanced Auto Parts in Navarre, Florida, and look at all these folks who have gathered. You can feel the love in the air. You can feel the support. And speaking of support, right now I am joined by Maria Ayer. She's the Southern Division President of Advanced Auto Parts. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Tell me how important it is for Advanced Auto Parts to be part of this experience with Building Homes for Heroes. When we think about our partnership with Building Homes for Heroes, it really links to our core values, inspire, serve, and grow. And when we think about serving, it's about serving our local communities and those who have served for our country. And that's what's really important for us. We've got over 6,000 veterans that work for us today. We're committed to hiring another 10,000 veterans over the next five years. Wow. Um, and it's very important for us. And what they've done to support our country, to protect our freedom, is critically important. And we have an awesome, very powerful woman right here behind us yes. who's going to help drive the family yes, I'd for love this to, big reveal. I'd love to introduce you to her. 
Courtney Force. She nice is to meet she you. is our advanced auto parts NHRA funny car driver, a great brand champion for us and a phenomenal driver. It's so Thank awesome you. to meet you. And you are actually going to be in the car with Natasha as we head for this big reveal for this house. What is that going to feel like? I'm excited. This is um, really incredible to be able to share a moment with this family, to be able to welcome them to their new home and really just kind of start the next chapter in their life um, while remembering Mark. And this is a huge moment for them and uh, really special. I'm so excited. I'm going to be in the car with you guys. So let's load them up and head out. <laughs> June 13th, 2018, a special day for the D. Allen Carr family, the day we gather to honor a true American hero, a man whose dream was to impact the lives of others and make all of his loved ones proud. Imagine how proud our founding fathers would be, but more importantly, take a moment and look in the eyes of the children around you who have never seen anything like this before and know in your heart of hearts how proud we all should be, for this is the America our children deserve to see. Yeah. Army Staff Sergeant Mark D. Allencar will always be in our hearts, and today we will give this home to Mark and Natasha in loving memory and honor of their sacrifice and their eternal love. Natasha D. Allencar, it is our honor and privilege to say thank you, and may God bless you and yours in this home. We hope it brings you a lifetime of good memories and joy and a lifetime of happiness you so truly deserve. We are truly excited to take these new steps to this new journey, this new life without our hero. The end result was always supposed to be for our children to have a home to bring their kids to, their kids' kids to, and be because of my husband's sacrifice and his wonderful people in this community and these foundations stepping in. My husband's dream is still happening. He's not here physically, but his presence is here with us daily, and it will be forevermore. We're blessed. Yes, get in here, group hug. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Live Life Forward. To learn more about this amazing organization and more about many of our American heroes, visit buildinghomesforheroes.org.